And one of them will not be making it to top five. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, look, it looks like uh, Tyro going with his Sheik. Yeah. He's, he's not been filling his bail, so that's he's going to help. Uh, false start. All right, well, we will see how this goes. Um, Lucario, very interesting character that we just do not see enough of in Chicago. A lot of people do not know this matchup that well. We, we really only have uh, Chompy. As, as the only and that's recent, and he yes. hasn't been out to too many things since the Lucario. And even since then, he still plays a lot of pit. Like, yeah. he says he's going to give up pit, and he's just like, nah, I'm not giving up my it, win. It's hard, to, it's hard to give up your, your main. <laughs> so, all right. All right, so we, we got our actual match going now. I don't like that. All right, I don't know if Tyroi knows the matchup very well. I do not like letting Lucario at Town and City game one. No, I, that's that's uh, that generally. Was a I mean, I can understand why it's good for Tyroi to get his kill confirms, but man, Lucario is a scary character once he gets his rage built up, and especially once he gets that uh, the aura going. The, the, yeah, once he gets aura, and then he gets uh, the aura sphere charge into up smash. On this stage, it's terrifying. Also, I think it's up thrown to up air. All right, really so strong option. I want to say so far so good every time someone takes a lead on a Lucario, but that's just not a thing you can say. No, absolutely not. Because it's so far so don't get hit. Ty Tyroi uh, definitely tried to get go for a uh, ledge trump there, but didn't quite get the, the timing for it. One of the best ways to play against Lucario is to keep your kill options from being stale. Yeah. Like, go for moves that will not stale your kill options, because once you get this character into its rage point where you can kill it, you need to kill it. You have to, yeah. yeah. Like, like, right around now, you cannot let Day get... Oh. That was very smart. Up air. Ooh, okay. Uh, from Tyroi, but the platform impeding the idea, and Day capitalizing on all of Tyroi's attempts here. Ooh, good shield there. That wouldn't... I don't think that would have hit, but... Uh -oh. oh, he might be in trouble. Yeah, that's not a position you ever want to be in. I'm surprised Day actually let it up, because Tyra didn't really have a way out of that. He, the only way you can really get out of that is if you push toward, off towards the stage and then off the stage. But right. Tyra wasn't doing that from the beginning, so I think he was stuck. Um, but that was smart from Day. Yeah, every I, I, I actually used to oh, play, the vanish. Oh, he, went, he went off stage for the down air, so now he's going to be in a massive deficit. Yeah, that's that's huge. Uh, Lucario getting greedy like that. It was a really smart dash attack to get Sheik off stage, but Sheik uh, is that was, one of, that was upbeat. Or, I'm sorry. Extreme speed. I, like, I don't mean literal dash yeah, attack. Yeah. I dash at you attack. I should have been specified. That back air, back not going to quite kill. One, one of his strongest non-aura uh, like options. And up smash. Up smash, very good. And he needed that kill. That was really huge here. Yes, yeah, so now Tyroid, like, he definitely has the lead. But now aura is going to be kicking in. Rage um, is kicking in. For play styles from Chicago guys to try to stop Day from invading, Tyro is one of the better choices, I think. Not necessarily just because of his skill, but because of his play style. He's a campier player, and it's harder for Lucario to punish the campier players. Yeah. Curry kind of wants you to go in sometimes. Yeah, because if he catches you, you're in a world of suck and sadness. Smart up smash, not quite getting caught. It was, it was, that was actually a very smart error, because that way uh, it, it was the only option, I think, that would have caught uh, Day. And I don't think they expected it to him to go right through the platform right there. Yeah. Uh, Tyra is going to need to get a little bit more damage on before he can start going for kills. Lucario right at the edge of that light heavyweight barrier. Oh, oh it. catches him with the up air high up, getting that kill. The stock and the game one lead. The hard read there. That was a hard read. I don't think Day expected that at all. I forget. No, because I think Day could have done there. Is Lucario technically light heavyweight? He's heavier than right he was in it. Brawl, but he's he's... I always forget which. He's in he's the middle, I believe. I think no, yeah, he's light heavyweight. I'm pretty sure. He's either at the highest end of middleweight or the lowest end of heavyweight. It's yeah. one of the two. I'm not gonna look it up. We got We got a match to commentate. Yeah. So we're gonna go to final destination. Chat, tell us. Yeah, yep. that that'll be the way. Yeah, chat, chat could help us out there. Meanwhile, not sure I'm in love with this pick for Lucario specifically. It seemed like all of Day's potential punishes oh, that wow. last game were off of platforms. Mm. Uh, actually, uh, from my experience anyway, and, and playing against Chompy a lot, and you know, I've, I've practiced this character quite a bit, um, he having platforms makes it actually harder for you to hit things when they're on people when they're on the platform. I normally agree, but it's the matchup specific. Oh, uh, okay. letting Sheik carry you across FD early on before you get any damage in feels not great. 
Which which has happened already. Which, yeah, which has happened a ton. And Bouncing dead. fish, yep. getting the stock immediately. And this stage choice already coming back to bite day. Tyra coming out really clean in this game too. But it's all it's Lucario, one of the scariest characters to come, with comeback factor. Yeah, that the scariest, bar none, for many reasons, all of them rage related. Grab. Keep, I'm keep, I'm so surprised Days. I mean, he know, you know he plays this character more than us, so he knows probably more better than us. But it seems like he could just hold that a little longer. I mean, there are ways out of it. I don't know if Tyroi knows them. Right. I guess it's wise of him to assume that the player you're up against knows what to do. Yeah, it's, it's never good to just assume, oh, this guy doesn't know this character. I'll just do whatever I want. Speaking of which, Lucario has been lapped. Tyroi playing very well, getting the jab into, like, resets in. Good attempt. Yeah, I like the Vanish mix-up. Oh, that, oh that, my god. It. So, Lucario hits <laughs> Lucario so is, hard. Lucario's winning now. <laughs> yeah, Lucario is now in the lead. You may not have known that, but a hard read will kill. Yeah, now uh, Tyro's going to have to be very careful for if Lucario gets a grab on him. Because right. up air can kill very early with that much aura. Uh, if he has full aura, he can get like an up smash kill around 30%, up air around probably 50. Uh, catches him with the delay. Not, Not quite going to kill, yet. though. He needed that to kill because this is a scary position to be in. That's actually really smart needles. Oh, catches oh, him with the same exact move. Knocking Day out of this tournament. E2C Tyroy moving on. It's, it's that next level scores. mind game of, you you're know, not do it again. you're not going to do it again. Yeah. yeah. And then you do it again. It's like, oh, you got me that time. All right. Good stuff from Tyroy. He's going to stay alive in loser's quarters.